In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to use module scripts in less than two minutes. By the end of the video, you will be an expert in module scripts and use them in your own projects. Enjoy the video. In today's video, we're going to teach you the ins and out of module scripts, as well as how and when to use them. Module scripts, in their simplest form, are just scripts that you can access from a bunch of other scripts. This makes them super useful because you don't have to copy nearly as much code. For example, if you make a function in a module script, it can be accessed from any other script and more scripts at the same time. So, how exactly do you make a module script? It's actually really simple. In this case, we're gonna place the script in server script service since we want it to be just accessible on the server. All you have to do is go to the place you wanna put it, click the plus and uh, search up module script. There, you created a module script. So once you look over at the script, you will probably be a little confused because rather than it saying print hello world, it just has this local module equals brackets and return module. And there's a reason for that. In order to be accessible by other scripts, modules must return a table. That table is what you're going to be accessing when you get it from another script. So to do that, we need to add stuff to this module. The way you can do that is by putting it in the brackets. So we could make a function called uh, print hello world, which simply prints hello world. Now, while this looks normal, this is actually not really how people use modules. The primary way that functions are set up in here is by creating it like this. Function module, which is the name of the table you want to add your item to, colon your method name. So ours will be print hello world. And then we can just do print hello world. You can add any parameters and arguments you want. None of that matters. All of that stays the same as it would be when you're normally calling it. So now return module essentially returns print hello world. It returns a table with this function. So you might be wondering, how exactly would I access this module from another script? It's really, really simple. All you have to do is go back in the server script service or whatever folder you're using, create a normal script, and uh, you just have to be able to index the module script with the require keyword. First, we need to direct the code to the module script. So all, the, all I'm going to do is reference it by saying local module equals script.parent find first child module script. Normally I would get the service, but to make things easier and go by faster, we're just gonna use that. From there, you can just do local module script equals require module. Now, what's the difference between these two lines of code? It's very simple. Module is a reference to the actual script object. So you can reference its class name, name, parent, any of these attributes. However, if we require it, this returns the table within it. So you can't access the object of the script itself, but you can access the items within it. Now, if I were to do module script, print hello world, you see it actually shows it right there, and run the game, it will actually print hello world right there for the user to see. So that's a really easy way you can use module scripts. You can also store variables in them like so, module dot, text to print equals hello world and then we just print module dot text to print this should have the same outcome as what we had before as you can see it's there now you can also access variables from another module script by doing it like this print module script dot text to print we run that and you'll notice it prints hello world so in all simplicity module scripts or code that can be accessed from any other script, so long as you require it at the top like this, and you index things properly. Indexing a, a variable with a period and a method, again, with this colon. It's super simple. You can add whatever arguments you need. It can function just the same as a function would in your normal script, as long as you put in the exact same information and add it to this module table. You can name the module text to anything you want. That doesn't matter. That's all used internally. Another important thing to know is that module scripts can be used to require other module scripts. So any function you need from one module script can be carried over into the other. So it really just limits the amount of times that you need to copy code. And that's the key about module scripts. They help you to reduce the amount of code you're copying, which you'll notice that as the scale of a game increases that you're working on, you might find yourself using a bunch of scripts 
that are really redundant. Use module scripts to reduce that. If you find yourself writing the same function a million times, just put it in one module script. You can add arguments to make it easier to access and change it up a little bit from script to script but you really shouldn't have to copy code. If you use module scripts right, you'll find that you can reduce the lines of code that you use immensely, and it makes your code a lot more readable because you have all of your functions in one spot. So if something breaks, you edit that one function rather than going into a million scripts. I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below. We'll answer as fast as we can. We're hoping to post consistently again. It's been a struggle with school, but we will do our best. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.